How's it going guys? Today I'm going to show you what I keep in the trunk of my 2004 Mercury Grand Marquis for roadside assistance. I'll do the lights in a different video. Um, the trunk is still in progress. Um, I need to mount that fire extinguisher. I think I'm going to mount it underneath on the trunk lid here. Um, I really need more like vertical space but as of right now this is what I have. Um, gloves, some rags, fire extinguisher, Ford funnel, uh, rubber tire block, uh, sure can, gas can. Um, there's absolutely zero odor with this thing, which I am mind blown by. That's one thing that is horrible if you roadside is the smell of fuel. So, got that. I have a three ton steel jack, a 1.5 ton aluminum jack that I use for most vehicles. Um, if I need to get any more height, like an SUV or truck, I have some wood blocks. You can probably see them underneath there with the four-way. Um, tire plug kit. This is for um, like OEM uh, security sockets so people don't steal your wheels. This is for aftermarket ones. This is uh, different actual sockets with the collar on it so you don't mar up the wheels. They're color coded from Harbor Freight. A lot of this is from Harbor Freight. Um, Pittsburgh socket set, half inch breaker bar, uh, different torque half inch sockets just in case. My miscellaneous tool bag I use for everything. This is kind of my electrical corner. It's kind of a mess right now. I'm going to get something to tidy that up more. I've um, got my air compressor can run off of 12 volts DC or AC. You can kind of pick there if you want to use the wall plug or the 12 volt plug. I have a 2500 watt Cobra inverter. It runs straight to the battery with an 80 amp disconnect right here. So I can turn it on and off from this little switch. Um, got this Hulu jump starter. Works excellent. I've used it a couple times so far. Um, have the charger and everything right here you can run it off of just micro usb all that stuff usb-c i uh, also have an extra jump starter this is a boost pack es5000 have that wired up here so i can charge it while i'm driving that one uses lead acid batteries so that one needs to be topped off at all times um otherwise jumper cables both my poles for the jacks um, access tool. This one's like I call a little lasso that you can grab a little the knob on your door and pull it up. Have a long reach tool. This is the rest of my lockout stuff. Um, I have a little wedge to get the gap open. Two air wedges. This is an old fashioned Slim Jim. Uh, towels, just in case I need them. Uh, this is another electric ratchet. I have some ratcheting wrenches there. Um, this is my kind of my go bag for doing a tire change. This has my impact, three batteries in it, um, some sockets, but I also take this one with me. And then, if needed, one of those in the brick bar. Don't plan on using that other bag, but it is a uh, angle grinder just in case because I've had needed that in the past where uh, you can't get the cable down and the customer's like, do you have anything just to cut it? I can pull that little battery operator and go grinder out and just cut the line and be on our way. So, um, that was kind of quick. So if you have any other questions, um, leave a comment down below. I do have different lighting, but I'll go over all the exterior lighting. I do have this trunk light here. I also have another work light I can take to the uh, tire change, lockout, whatever I need to do, or it can stick up under here as well. Just click this on its side. This thing's very bright at night. I think it even has like a uh, strobe and all that stuff, which I could use, but don't plan on it. But yeah, that's kind of what fits in here right now. I really want to organize this. Like I said, mount that fire extinguisher either like right here or across here somewhere or something it's just it's hard to mount with all these little cutouts and 
forms and different angles and all that stuff. But that's what's in the trunk of my 2004 Mercury Grand Marquis for roadside assistance. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.